In this presentation, we will generate, analyze, and print to a PDF file and accounts receivable graph within QuickBooks Pro 2019. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are in the home page. We currently have the open windows open. You can open the open windows by going to the view drop down and selecting the open windows list. We're going to now go to an accounts receivable aging graph. We can find that by going to the reports, reports being where most graphs will be found in QuickBooks Desktop, QuickBooks Pro. Selecting the reports, we can go to the customers and receivables because we are dealing with accounts receivable here. And we're scrolling down and looking for a graph within the customers and receivable. And here is the accounts receivable graph. The other way we can locate this is by going to the report center, which I typically will do when looking for graphs and make this as large uh, full screen. We are going to be in the standard tab here and we're going to be looking for the customers and receivables on the left side. Here is the customers and receivables. We're currently in the grid format. This is kind of the default. It's a good format to see because it's easy to see a graph. Once you scroll down through here, we'll say, hmm, here's a graph. Here's the accounts receivable graph. That's the one we're looking for. We're going to go ahead and run that graph. And here, here we have it. Not too exciting until we change the dates. So we're going to go up to the dates up top, select the dates, and we're going to make the date as of 022819. That's February 28th, 2019, and OK. So here is going to be our graph. So the graph is going to be broken out by customer in this case. So we have the, the graph here, uh, a bit more of an interesting graph, the accounts receivable broken out by who owes us money. If we want to tie this out to the supporting report, or the report this is supporting, uh, remember that all the financial statements, these supporting reports will typically be supporting a format of the financial statement in this case the balance sheet so let's go up to the balance sheet we'll go to the reports drop down we'll go to the company and financial and we'll scroll down to the balance sheet standard and we'll change the date to 022819 that's february 28 2019 we've got 11274 in accounts receivable and if we go back to the open windows here 11,274 is what's in our accounts receivable. So it's good to be able to tie that out. When we're presenting this data, we want to make sure we know where it's coming from. We go back to the balance sheet, uh, back to the balance sheet. If we look at this number, we're going to say that's how much people owe us. That's how much money is owed to us. We may then want to know who owes us that money. And that's what this report is doing in a pictorial fashion. So if we go back to the QuickBooks reports and accounts receivable, this is broken out by who owes us that money. These then are customers, and it's given us a percentage basis of who owes us the most. Uh, Len owes us the most, Jill, and so on and so forth owes, owes us the most money. So just a pictorial representation of that. We can then uh, use this data a few different ways. We may want to put it into something like a QuickBooks report or a PDF file or a uh, PowerPoint. This is PowerPoint. We could create a new slide here. I usually make a blank slide. And then we could just screenshot this information as we've done before. So we might want to say screenshot, uh, insert, and then go to the images, screenshot. And then I would usually make a clipping of the screen. And then we just really want this graph here. So I'm just going to draw around this graph. And then we'll typically want the key as well. So insert the screenshot clipping and then we just want the key so i'm going to put a screen around this key and there we have it and so this would be the uh, the accounts receivable and if we were going to put uh an insert of the text it might be a r by customer something like that would give us and we can sort this information around you can see how you can maneuver this so note that once we have these graphs here, we could then save these graphs. We could give this, once we format it the way we want, give this to a customer or so forth. Or we can save it as a PDF file. File, save as, browse, and put this into one PDF file by changing the PDF here. 
and, and that'll change the file type to a PDF. And that's another way that we can kind of group information, pictorial information that might be useful. Uh, we could do the same in Word too if you wanted to use Word to, to, to do that as well. If you're free floating items like images, then PowerPoint is probably easier or uh, the, the Apple equivalent. So we're going to say close this. You can also use Google's equivalent as well, Google Docs and Google Slides. So we'll uh, save that. Then the other option is to print it. I'm going to print it as a PDF file. So we're going to go to the print option here and we're going to print it to a cute PDF printer and say print. And that will go to the cute PDF printer scrolling down. I'm going to put this right underneath and just call this an accounts receivable customer graph. And there we have that. That's the other way that uh, we can save this data. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.